If you're looking at getting started with 3D printing or buying one for Christmas, yes, you can get some very low cost printers from China, but you might also want to consider Prusa. I'll explain it all on today's Film of Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Here's a perfect example. Here's two low-cost printers, perfect for getting started with 3D printing. Perfect for a family because it's easy to store away. They're both very portable. Handle here and a handle here to lift them, put them in a the closet until you're ready to use them. This one will cost you about $150. This one will cost you about $500. Now I could go through the specs to compare this to this one and say that's why it's $500. It'll explain some of the price difference, but that's not the whole story. But if I did, this one's got PTFE tubing going all the way down to the nozzle, which limits you to about 230 degrees, which means PLA or PETG or about all you want to print with this, otherwise you're pushing it. That's not bad for a beginner. This one has a all metal heat break, so it'll go to a higher temperature, 260, I think to 280 in some cases, so you can print pretty much any material you want. Plus this has a little bigger build area and an auto level sensor to make that first layer go down really nice and easy. This one, you gotta do it manually. You can do it, you can even use my e-leveler tool, which makes it easier to do, but that's gonna be a little bit harder for someone getting started. So those are just a couple of the features that this has over this one, for the price. What justifies the extra cost? Support. You're not going to get much of it from Creality. In fact, you're going to have to go through the reseller in order to get replacement parts or things corrected. Or you come to my channel and I'll show you how to fix these things because that's what I love to do. I love to fix them. I love to modify them. I love to make profiles. I love to do everything about them because that's fun to me. And then I share it on the channel and I have over 260,000 subscribers. So there's a lot of people that like to do the same thing. If I focused on this machine on the channel, there wouldn't be much to show you. In fact, Prusa has a whole support team to help you fix problems if they come up. So you're totally supported and that's why you have extra cost. Like I had a PTFE tubing that was a little bit too short on this one. So I fixed it, I made a video on it. Turns out Prusa support already had a fix for that and explained I didn't even need to make the video. But that's part of what you're paying extra for. Plus, they have their own slicer, the Prusa slicer, with profiles built in for this machine for various materials. They've also got their own filament. So if you want to stick with what they recommend, they've got that. If you want to download files that you know are going to work on the Prusa machines, they've got printables.com where all their community will share files like these. So you can download them and print them on your Prusa machine. Now instead, if you do prefer a low cost machine and you don't mind hacking on it and playing with it, then maybe subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell down there. And maybe YouTube will actually notify you when I have a new video out. If you move to a bigger printer, then the price difference becomes even greater. This is an Ender 3 Pro. You can get one of these for under $200 pretty much anywhere, but it's a bare bones 3D printer. It doesn't have silent drivers. It's got real basic parts. You're gonna be replacing several parts on this thing. And I love it for my channel. I love this printer. I've had a lot of fun reworking it and modifying it. I had a print farm full of these things and I learned every weakness on it and made a video on how to fix it or improve it. And it brought me a lot of subscribers and some people even call me the Ender Whisperer because I know pretty much everything about this thing. And like I said, I like fixing this stuff. I like doing this. But if you're not into that, if you just want a printer that you take out of the box and get it to work pretty much right away, then this is Prusa's answer, the MK3. It's been around for a little while, but it works so well. And little things like if this one ever has a temperature sensor problem, first you have to figure out, is it the hot end? Is it the bed? And then you got to probe it with a meter and figure out, is it shorted? Is it open? You got to figure all that out on your own. This has a test right from the menu you can run and it'll run through all the different systems and pretty much indicate what's wrong so you can contact Prusa support and they will help you fix it. Now this will definitely cost more. It's $799 for the kit version. Take you about six to eight hours to put it together. There's a lot of screws and stuff, but you'll learn a lot about your printer. But if you want to go fully assembled, $1,099. So $1,100. This one, that's what this one is. Fully assembled, out of the box. Prusa did send me this to do some stuff on the channel. I do have an MK2S, so they upgraded me to the MK3. And it really just out of the box was a great experience. Took it out, ran through the setup, got a first print, 
Perfect. First time. So it's definitely easier to get started with this than this. This is fun to me, but this was easy. So it really comes down to, is it worth spending the extra money? Only you can determine that because you know your budget and what you want to get out of the printer for your family. But just know, these are the two paths you're taking. This one, you're going to be modifying and hacking and playing with it. This one, you're going to probably just use it. Now, if you're a regular to this channel, you probably look at this and go, oh my God, he's doing a cruise ship commercial. And in a way, you're right. But the thing is, there's a Ender 3, the Ender 2 Pro, and a ton of clones out there. There's all kinds of clones of the Ender 3. A lot of low-cost printers out there, and some will have special features like a you know, filament runout sensor, or they'll have some other special geared extruder drive. You think, oh, this is going to be better. It's probably not any better, but the biggest thing is you're not going to have any support. So when someone around Christmas time comes to me, and I get a lot of this, what printer should I buy from my family? If I tell them, get an Ender 3 or get an Ender 3 clone and watch my channel, they don't watch my channel. They call me up and say, how do I unclog this printer? How do I get this bed to level? But when I tell them, get a Prusa, they don't call me. They either don't have to call at all, or they call Prusa and get it fixed. In fact, some of them have said, how do you have so many subscribers? This stuff is easy. So <laughs> it's probably not going to get me a lot of subscribers to the channel saying this, but if you have the budget and it's your first printer and you want to get into 3D printing, this is probably a great place to start. And then as you expand, you get used to using a 3D printer, then maybe an Ender 2 Pro as a second printer or an Ender 3 as a bigger printer, or maybe upgrade to this if you can afford it. You can expand at that point and have more printers because you're gonna want more printers. It just happens. But this is actually a great place to start because of the support and everything you get with Prusa. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up here. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.